action, Took. We're rolling. Hello, I'm Took Bushman. Welcome to Monster Watch. With me as always is my faithful assistant, Flick. And our cameraman, Jerry. We're at Hill Valley High School where we've been informed we find a horde of mindless zombies. And guess what? We have. Come and take a look. In cut. Tuck, we're gonna have to do it again. I didn't hear a bloody word you said. Forget it, Jezza. I'm letting them out. We need quality. This isn't quality. We need quality control. I'll show you quality. I hope you got that, Spielberg. Emmett! Will you two pack it in? Okay, viewers, the first thing you should remember about zombies is they're complete morons. Always use this to your advantage. Now remember, to kill a zombie, you need to destroy the brain. Also, in some countries, this is a nice delicacy. Lovely. I'm gonna be sick! Alternatively, you could just try the nutcracker approach. <laughs> now, viewers, always remember rule of the Bushman number 33. Never turn your back on your enemy, because your enemy is always back there. Remember, if in doubt, rip it out! Too bad. Nah. I think that last zombie nearly put my socket out. Really? Let me take a little look there. Uh, um. Tuck. There's nothing you could say that will ruin this moment. Uh, Tuck. Um. I forgot to start recording. What? I can't believe you, Jerry. All you had to do was press record on the frigging camera. Look! It's a high pressure situation! High pressure? My nan can film better than you, and she's dead! Well, but, well you two just give it a rest! Yes! We need to work out what we're gonna do. We'll be alright. There's plenty more monsters out there. <laughs> they don't call me the tin arsed Bushman for nothing. No, they just call you an arse! Sir, I know what you're about to say, but the uh, the zombie army I summoned were, were, were just no no match for the Bushmen. It's feeble excuse after feeble excuse with you. The wailing banshees didn't screech enough. The undead drunken sailors didn't have enough ale. And well, the Egyptian skeleton crossdressers couldn't get the suspenders they needed, could they? Uh, sir, if I could just have more power, there, there, there's some stuff in here that I, I could just... More well... power? <laughs> Is that really what you want? Um... Yes. So be it! Ah! Oh, I'll never get that out. I think it's time we set a trap. Just leave it, Doris! As I was trying to say, I think it's time we set a trap for this Bushman. Took him down, show him who's boss. Hmm. I shall see to it personally, sir. And where have you been, eh? Hmm? While you've been out enjoying yourselves, I've been stuck in here, manning the phones! I've already been here for three whole minutes! Right, well, were there any messages then? Uh, yes, there was actually. Appears to be a vampire disturbance in Dumberton. Ooh. Right, let's get a move on then. Oh, another thing. Don't forget to press record this time, Lord Knocker. Huh. Ross Kent never treated me like this. He's a lot less aggressive in real life. Lovely man. He once bought me a carrot cake. This is it, Dumperton. Oh, God. We've got one thing right. Looks like a bloody dump. 
There's definitely been vampire activity here. Really? What gives you that idea? Just a hunch. Action Turk, we're rolling. Hello! Welcome to Monster Watch. We've been called out to a recent vampire sighting in Dumperton. With me, as always, is my faithful assistant, Flick. Hey, what are you lot doing out here in the open? Hey, who the bloody hell are you? I must warn you of the dangers! Sir, if you'll just calm down. We're here to deal with a vampire. We're professionals. Professionals? Professional what? You look a right set of twats to me. <laughs> Charming. My God, look! Your easy Australian charm and poor quality TV cameras won't save you now. Blimey, it's the vampire bride of Lower Back Out. Oh, you know her? Well, uh, I know of her. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, legend has it that uh, she hunts for a husband, and if they don't match up, she drains them. Uh, what of the bank account? Mmm, the mighty Tuck Bushman. Famous hunter of monsters and all things that go bump in the night. You better believe it, Sheila. <laughs> God. Would you like to come with me? I can give you everything you desire. Please tell me that camera's rolling. What? This is cool. Of course it is! Talk! What? Uh, I just for the film for the film. Got a couple of good close-ups as well. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Steph. Come on. I've had enough of this. Whoa! Not so fast, Flickster. I'd like to see where this goes. You are unbelievable. Jerry, get that camera on me. Yes, sorry, sorry, yes. Right, viewers. The best way to kill a vampire is to aim directly for the heart. Look, Flick, maybe we could just talk this through. Uh, uh, forget it, Judah! Judah, that's my heart! Ooh, direct hit! Unfortunate news, Master. The Vampire Bride is. is dead. Oh, enough of this! Bring the board of death! Throat <laughs> lozenge! Very good, sir. Mm, yes. Oh. Yes, right on the tip. Thanks, Flick. You saved my neck, literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I do like to make a point. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh,. I'd like to make a point. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I had something. You did it, funny. you did it! I can't believe it! I feel right bad for calling you a set of twats now. Easy mistake to make. Now where's the boozer? That's the spirit. The morbid inn's just up ahead. You can't miss it. Unless you go <laughs> the wrong way, that is. <laughs> I can't miss a phone sometimes. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> you what? Who are you talking to? <sighs> Jerry, I hope that was your stomach. <laughs> What's hanging about here? Let me tell you. <laughs> Jerry! You spineless son of a. Ah. It doesn't matter how fast we run, the sim will always catch this up. Is gonna hit you. Oh. Ah! Get off me, you bloody mongrel! Ah, Mr. Bushman. Who the bloody hell are you? I am Jink Stiffin. What? what? You got a stiffy? Silence! I am the third ruler of the Time Dimension, an eighth in line to the throne of Zoran. What? Moron? You're a, you're a moron, you sit in the throne all day, what are you talking about? You're merely a pawn in my game, Mr. Bushman. Ah, well, there's one thing you weren't planning on, isn't there? This! I'm going to right where I want you. I think you seriously underestimate the gravity of your situation, Mr. Bushman. Where's Flick? Ah, uh, yes. The woman.
Oh, excuse me, I'll just go and get that. Speak to me! What have you done to her? Why? I've turned her into my eternal slave. Flick, speak to me! Wake up! It's no use, you know. There's no cheap antidote for her condition. Life can be so fragile. You know what? I couldn't agree more. No! What are you doing, you fool? I'm sorry, Flick. It was the only way I could save you. I knew you wouldn't want to be one of his demon bitch bags. Let's take this outside. like that. No, but I didn't, did I? Decoy. That's what I'm telling you. I'm a decoy. Yes. Yes. Very good. Time, Mr. Bushman. I think for me to bring this to an end. How does it feel to be so close to death, Mr. Bushman? You tell me! Uh, uh, uh. Always. Hey, Flick. How have you been? Sorry, silly question. Well, business is going quite well. Jerry's his usual annoying self. You know, I never will find a more worthy bush lady. Shit business. Yeah. <laughs> First outtake of the day. Are you going to find a mind of hordeless? No. A horde of mindless? No, a I mind of hordeless. A mind of hordeless? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Remove the brain like I've just done. <laughs> Repeat out! <laughs> You're always talking about yourself, and you're so bloody arrogant. Took this, took that, <laughs> took off. You walk into. Here we go. Oh, she's gonna hit it. Might need something bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take this outside. <laughs> uh, my clap was completely and utterly pathetic. <laughs> That's the spirit. The moment in is just up ahead, and you can't go there unless you go there. <laughs> Ooh, lovely! Mmm! <laughs> 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 